Catherine, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I've got some new frames, but they're not quite as good as yours. I don't think yours are much better. No, than mine. I feel yours are pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You know, start the new year as you mean to go yeah, on. All absolutely. That. <laughs> My vision is going fast. No pun intended. Well, that was very good. I like it. I, like I didn't it very mean much. to. It just slipped out. <laughs> it slipped out, as it does. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, really, really enjoyed the show. I've only seen the first three, so I'm still in a bit of, Me bit too. of suspense, I've which is good. Me too. i the first three as well. Yeah, it keeps you in, keeps you in suspense. Um, I, how, is, how, is this, how is this show kind of pitched to you? Because I can imagine you get a call from Marvel. You expect for them and Kevin Feige to tell you, oh, we want you to be part of this big action extravaganza about the end of the world but they pitched you essentially a sitcom uh what was what was your kind of your reaction when they pitched you this particular idea well i mean i remember being asked uh for um uh, to go into a meeting with uh um matt shackman our incredible director um who i know um he's a theater director himself and i had known him kind of peripherally through that world from my husband um, uh, Jack Schaefer, the writer, and Mary Lovanos, our producer, and went into this like secret room in the bowels of uh, uh, Marvel. I say the bowels, but it was really on their first floor. <laughs> but for mystery. <laughs> but it was, um, you know, and they kind of laid out this this um, this arc in this idea, and it was unlike, like you had said, anything I had ever seen as a as a parent um that had been that had watched marvel movies with and through her the lens of her children it was unlike anything i had ever seen in that world and um the artisans involved i knew were, were not going to cut corners and we're going to make it as specific and real to each genre as possible and i also knew that the genres add up to something it's not just for the tr the trick of them and so um, and I also, as that kind of mother watching those movies through her children, I always remember this little teeny heartbeat through those movies, this little teeny heart, which was always that relationship between Vision and Wanda. It always like, stuck out to me in all of that, like beautiful, glorious, like mayhem and huge set pieces. And yet there was like something about that little domestic scene of them making dinner that was like like surprising and so tiny but felt so real that I was so excited to be able to dive deeper into the two that that's where the that that's where Kevin and this and this group wanted to dig deeper in to drill a bit deeper into um, and so starting there was a real was I mean it was kind of a no a no brainer and the fact that I got to wear wigs. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what was your kind of favorite um, time period? Because obviously you go through. I've only seen some of it, so I've got up to like I think it's this you know seven no spoilers to say it's pretty much every single decade is covered. It, did you have a favorite a favorite wig favorite costume favorite period? I mean, I, I would say just like for nostalgia's sake, looking back on this process, it was probably the fifties because we got to wear. Um, I mean, we shot that in front of a live studio audience. We used oh, like. Wow actual period lights in there like the i think even the 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 if i'm remembering this correctly the the um the audience that was there who were like heavily you know had to sign so many things <laughs> to not give any spoilers away but i think they were even costumed you know at in period costumes like so and we rehearsed it like a sitcom, like a play, like it, so the that the and that adrenaline, like it only took two days to shoot that whole up, like that that adrenaline and that feeling and those clothes, our incredible costume designer Maya, who's just an artist and a goddess, like from the inside out, with just enough like because it was so specific, it was able to hold such attention because we all know there's something coming um that was i think that that's that was my fave yeah absolutely it was a guess let's say <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah thank you so much for your time absolutely pleasure talking to you a oh, pleasure to you talking cheers. to you have a good one take care cheers ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.